the Global Green Growth Institute, working with developing countries to achieve poverty reduction and inclusive, sustainable economic growth. Vanuatu is a small independent nation of 83 islands that stretch across 1,300 kilometers of the South Pacific Ocean. Much of the population who live in rural areas and outer islands depend on rainwater for drinking and farming. Access to water has always been very challenging. The main challenges the communities are actually facing before the project is access to safe water. Before we all pupu, come kase mivla, mivla is that you some spring, lost all water. Every morning or every afternoon, we went to the shore and we just pick the water and carry back to our little village. It's very hard work. Eh? When the community don't have a safe drinking water or something, they suffer. I think our community needs clean and safe water, especially for diarrhea. Some people sometimes use water, but the water in the tank or in the polytank are not really clean. And this has only been compounded by the effect of climate change, with changes in water tables, salinity and drought. We see the effects of climate change every day, the sea level rise and uh, trees falling into the water. We can't rely on rain anymore. Although many programs have been undertaken over the years to establish community-based wells and water storage, many of these were reliant on hand pumps that had been used for generations. This is the first pump we used before we had our project. We've been using it for 11 years now, I think. Other sites had bore pumps that relied on small generators with some of the larger sites drawing power from the local mini-grid, all which required fossil fuels that are imported, expensive and at a price far disproportionate to household income, let alone the greenhouse gas emissions. Rather than me using more uh, diesel, we need to uh, against some climate change and reducing all greenhouse gas law vulnerable. The project provides an alternative, reliable source of safe, fresh, potable water in these remote communities, and one that is resilient to natural disasters such as cyclones. We have more than three or more than four cyclones per year, which means that uh, we need some kind of robust uh, water systems to help the communities even after disaster, they can still have access to water. So now we feel more secure if any cyclone or disaster, we have good water storage. The project has been implemented by the Global Green Growth Institute with the financial assistance of the Luxembourg government in partnership with the Vanuatu Department of Water Resources and other stakeholders. The project that Luxembourg has with GGGI in Vanuatu allows both sustainable access to energy and access to clean drinking water. The project supports some 9,500 people, addressing the water needs of households and communities in these remote and isolated locations. This one is so helpful for people at Malafau. No more pumping anymore. We just Turn up the tap and the water is flowing. Water where we come through low solar, more make them say me flash have a fine life, you see them if I turn them tap. It's like a miracle, water flowing up, flowing down, you end the tap, you receive a water. This system, it's very, very natural and very good. Water is good for everything, water is life. Without water, we don't survive. This two-year project included the design, procurement and installation of 22 solar-powered, cyclone-resistant water pumping systems, as well as improvements to water storage facilities and in some instances, the use of reverse osmosis systems where water quality was an issue. Every system runs on direct DC solar power, including the RO systems, effectively mitigating greenhouse gases with no batteries required. When you start to install it, my question is, where is the generator? But we don't have a generator. It is run by solar. It's a very appropriate technology, we can say that. Huh? 
sustainability and a transfer of ownership to the local communities was a key part of the project. Early in the planning stages, local water committees were mobilized and tasked with organizing work crews and resources to assist in the construction and installation of the solar-powered pumping systems. And once commissioned, they would also oversee the basic day-to-day -day operation and maintenance. If anything uh, wrong with the project, it's in our hands. So we have to fix it. Water committee members were given on-site training on the basic operation and maintenance of their systems. Troubleshooting guides and training videos specific to each system were also produced. Close. Household water treatment and safe storage community training was also provided. Donations of water treatment units were handed out, plus ceramic filters for schools and health clinics to enhance water quality in line with SDG 6. To enhance capacity building, GGGI, in cooperation with the Global Solar Water Initiative, provided comprehensive training on design, supply, installation, operation and maintenance of the solar-powered water systems for the related government departments and other stakeholders. In addition, guidelines were provided to the government. One of the main project outcomes was to ensure not only technical sustainability, but also financial sustainability. So a comprehensive financial sustainability study was carried out to provide adapted business models and countrywide recommendations to enhance the enabling environment for SPWS. According to the Water Act, each water committee will be responsible for the system's management, not only for the operation and maintenance, but the sustainable financial management, including the provision of funds for self-insurance and system replacement at the end of its lifespan. Ma fatu we water committee he mi stapiki map lo community lo all house all ya he mi 61 household. Fatu ya mi fly ki bim kuti stap lo one day suppose we e ikat any chances lo water tang we he mi stap an any ribes suppose we one part lo tang he mi no kuto solar. Ba mi fly save you sum fatu ya na lo chances back. Through this project, GGGI is contributing to reach government energy, water and development targets in line with the Sustainable Development Goals and Paris Agreements. It's a win-win for everyone, utilizing renewable energy to provide clean, safe and reliable drinking water to vulnerable communities. On behalf of the Vanuatu government, I would really express our um, gratitude, our appreciation for the government of Luxembourg for providing support financially uh, to see that these projects are actually implemented in these rural communities. We're so proud to have the project. The project is changing good, living long community, yeah. Blow water down long, uh, sea level, it comes down long. Step down, I'm a So it's one good project. So thank you to much. I want to tell them thank you too much for help for all Keta. I want to clap, I want to tell them thank you too much. This system has changed my life and the community and the children. And it's a wonderful gift. Thank you too much. Thank you too much.